this video, we're going to take a look at a pretty typical Calc 1 question here. It's going to say find all numbers C, which satisfies the mean value theorem for f of x equals x over x plus 2 on the closed interval from 1 to 4. Now, over here, I have wrote down um, the meat of the mean value theorem here. It's saying that you can take the derivative at a given point and set that equal to the average rate of change on that interval from 1 to 4. Okay, now... To make sure that the mean value theorem applies, there's a couple of conditions. We need to take a look at this function and make sure that it is continuous on the interval from 1 to 4. Okay, so if you can sketch that, put it in a graphing calculator, you can see it's got a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. All right, however, that's not from 1 to 4. Okay, so um, f of x, we can say, is continuous on that closed interval from 1 to 4 because that's the only portion of the function we are concerned with. All right, if it is continuous there, there's not going to be any cusp or any jumps or holes there as well. So that means f of x then is differentiable on that open interval from 1 to 4, okay? The two conditions for the mean value theorem. So from that thinking, we can assume then here, or we can conclude that the mean value theorem does apply to this problem and so we can then continue to work this out. Now basically, you're gonna, if you understand what the mean value theorem says, we've got to calculate the derivative, we've got to calculate the average rate of change, and then we have to set these two things equal. All right, so that's the process we're gonna take here. So let's go ahead and calculate that derivative. So f prime of x, all right, it's a straight quotient rule here. So the denominator, x plus two, times the derivative of the numerator, which is a one, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is a 1, and then all over the denominator squared. Okay, so this is just going to be an x plus 2 minus an x. So our x's are going to then cross out. We're going to be left with a 2 in the numerator, and we'll have that x plus 2 to the second power in our denominator. So there is our first derivative. All right, we will plug a c into that function when we set this equal to because we are finding all values of c. All right, next thing then that we need to do is we need to calculate that average rate of change on this interval. So then I'm going to be looking at f of 4 minus f of 1 all over 4 minus 1. All right, this is my a value. This is my b value. All right, plugging those in, we're going to have a 2 thirds minus a one-third all over three. Doing a little bit of arithmetic here, I'll have a one-third over three, which then just basically gives me a one-ninth. Okay, basic arithmetic there, not taking a long time to go through there. If you need to pause the video and work on that a little more intently, you are more than welcome to do that. Okay, now I am ready for the final part of the question. I'm gonna set these two things equal to each other, so I'm gonna take my derivative, plug a C into it, so that I do have F prime of C, I'm going to set that equal to the 1 ninth. So I'm going to have, see if we can come all the way up here, I'm going to have a 2 over, plugging in the c, we'll have a c plus 2 <clears throat> to the second power, we'll set that equal to a 1 ninth. All right, easiest way here probably to do this would be to cross multiply down, it's a nice little proportion. So then I'm going to have a c plus 2 to the second power is equal to 18. Let's go ahead and use the square root property take the square root of both sides. So we're going to take square root here, so square root and square will go away. I've got to remember to be sure and include the plus or minus square root of 18 on that side. So then I'll be left with a c plus a 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 18. We'll go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. So c is going to be equal to 2, negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 18. So we've got two values there that we're going to have to check. All right, might be um, easier to grab a calculator, get some decimal approximations here for these two different values. The negative 2 plus the square root of 18. All right, I will leave that to you to plug into your calculator, but um, if you trust my calculations, it's roughly 2.24. And yes, this falls in the interval, so definitely this is going to be one of our choices. Okay, if I take the negative 2 minus the square root of 18, this um, again is roughly a negative 6.24 that's outside of our interval be it open or closed but the open interval it's definitely outside it so we are not concerned with that value of c at all so to answer the question find all numbers c which satisfy the mean value theorem 
we're going to have a negative 2 plus the square root of 18 as a final answer for all values of C that satisfy the mean value theorem. So definitely um, a straightforward Calc 1 problem dealing with that mean value theorem. If the problems and examples that I'm doing is helping you, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.